Hey guys and welcome back to another DIY. Today we are making these wrap palazzo pants. Just a disclaimer, I had a bit of trouble with this video so it's not going to be the best but let's go anyway. For this DIY you will need 2-3 to three meters of a drapey fabric, scissors, sewing machine and matching thread and measuring tape. That's it. You will also need two measurements, one is from your waist to the floor and the other is all the way around your waist. Okay, let's get started. So, fold your fabric in half and lay on a flat surface, making sure that the fold is facing you. Mark your waist to floor measurement down one side from the folded edge, and from that point, mark your waist measurement, whether it be three quarters or full, or any number in between, from this. Then you can cut off the excess fabric. Is you need to decide if you want a full overlap on the leg or a little one. This will determine how much leg is showing in the final product. So you can change this by adjusting the waist measurement when you cut your trousers. If you want a complete overlap, you can then use your full waist measurement. But if you want a little one, then you only need to use three quarters of the waist measurement. Got it? Okay, let's carry on. With the folded edge still in front of you, fold the fabric a second time, so that it is a long, thin rectangle. You should have one edge that is completely folded, both on the left and the right side. Next, you need your crutch measurement, so you need to put your tape measure between your legs and then start from your waist all the way through your legs to your waist at your back and that should give you the depth of your crutch. Fold the tape measure in half and that is what we're going to use to mark onto the fabric. So now we're gonna mark this measurement onto the folded fabric. Find the corner that is completely folded so it has one folded edge at the bottom and one folded edge at the side. With this corner, you need to then include the waistband into your crutch measurement, which should already be included. So start with the tape measure about three to four inches off the corner and then go down into the corner and then mark where that ends. So from then you wanna cut a curved shape that meets the other side at about five to six inches inwards. Once you open it back out, your fabric should look like this. Once you have folded it up, it is then okay to cut open those bottom folds and then pin and sew that semicircle together right sides facing. So for the waistband, you'll need to make two. I put the measurements you're going to need up on the screen. And once you have cut these, then you need to fold it over so that it is one long folded piece. To attach the waistband, you need to flatten out your now stitched together trousers at the two waist points. The easiest way to add your waistband is to fold it in half so the right sides are facing the outside and then pin it to the waist part of the trousers. By the time I had already sewed it up, I realized that I didn't actually film that part, so my apologies guys. Tuck and fold the raw edges of the ties in and stitch on the outside. And that is it. This is what they look like when they're on. I managed to uh, give them a little trip to Paris. I hope you guys were able to follow along with the video. And that is it from me, guys. Till next time. Bye.